Are you struggling to find the perfect mirror for your observation room, which is also known as a viewing room? Comment down below what project you are working on that led you to this very video. In that case, this step-by-step -step guide is perfect for you. But what even is an observation room? Well, you will just have to keep watching to find out. Hey guys, I'm Amanda with Two Way Mirrors. So what even is an observation room? Think of an interrogation room in a police station or even a hospital. For this video, I'm gonna use an interrogation room as a reference. When a room connects to another room with a mirror in the middle, which is normally a two-way mirror, this way you can see through one side but not the other, which is perfect for those environments when the observer wants to remain unknown like an interrogation room. Because no one wants to feel as if they're being watched, making them super uncomfortable, unless they have a sixth sense. Step one, controlling the lighting. The most important step is to control the lighting in both of your rooms. I recommend a 1-6 ratio for the best results. The observation side, the side in which the cops would be at, must be darker. Like in all the movies, you see that where the cops are is practically dark. Unfortunately, trying to control the lighting is the hardest to achieve. Each project is different. So if you can't control the lighting, or maybe it's more difficult to control your lighting, the glass two-way mirror is the best option for you. With it being 70% reflective and 11% transparent, it is perfect for those dark or light places. Step two, size matters. If you are attempting to make an observation room requiring a mirror larger than 24 by 48, avoid acrylic. This is because it will appear warped. Almost like a funhouse effect, in this case, go with the glass option. Give this video a huge thumbs up if you like funhouses. Here are the maximum sizes. For a glass two-way mirror, it is 96 by 130. For the acrylic, it is 49 by 97. And of course, the smart mirror is gonna be 96 by 97 inches. If you are in need of a safety factor for the glass options, we do offer to temper, laminate, and soundproof your mirror. But what does laminating your mirror do? Imagine a windshield breaking on a car. The glass will stick together rather than just shattering into millions of small pieces. And what does tempering do? Tempering your mirror makes it 10 times stronger. The great thing about this is that if your mirror does happen to break, it will break into small, safe pieces. Tempering does cause a one inch border of distortion. Can you do acrylic? Acrylic two-way mirrors are the safest option because it's not glass. But the mirror coating is somewhat fragile, it could accumulate scratches over time. What is ballistic glass? Ballistic glass is what we call bulletproof. This has several layers of laminate switching between glass to poly to achieve the bullet resistance. The more layers it has, the stronger it will be. Step four, sound control. If you do not want to be heard on the observation side, be sure to fully conceal your mirror into the wall. Having a hole cut into the wall will mean there will be some leakage. Step five, recording through the mirrors. If you need to record through your glass, the glass two-way mirror isn't the best option because it will be dark. Instead, use acrylic or the glass smart mirror. These have a super high reflection quality, so your camera will be hidden from the other side. And last but not least, we have some tips and tricks for you. You can add lamps and additional light sources near the mirror to help increase reflection on the subject side to hide the viewing area better. And that takes you through our step-by-step -step guide to choosing the best mirror for your viewing room. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to give it a huge thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.